Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, this is Lithium017 from my channel, Nintendo Collecting 101, bringing you a video of four of the white GameCube controllers. Now these controllers were supposed to be kind of released for Super Smash Bros. They have longer cords or longer cables. That's the key and that is why these controllers are amazing to get. Now, this controller looks the exact same as any other standard official controller, except it's white. There are many fakes of these ones, so be careful. You want to make sure that you have the Nintendo GameCube seal up there. The controller on the back will also have the Nintendo logo and trademark information and things like that on the left-hand side. So make sure that you get the official one. The one other way to know that you're getting the official one is based on the boxes. The boxes for these are very sleek. This is like the Japanese box basically for it, is what it looks like. There's some model information down there of just the controller as always. And, well, I guess I'll show you every side of the box just in case you're interested. It kind of highlights the cord there, maybe highlighting the length, and obviously the text is in Japanese. The side shows the side of the controller as always, as most Japanese boxes do. And here is that all that good information that I can't really read. I believe they do show a year on this, but I might be mistaken because almost all of it is Japanese text. It does obviously say for commercial use only. Now the cable length it states is 3 meters, so it's just shy of 10 feet long. The original controller had a cable of maybe 2 meters, or roughly 6 feet long. So what I've done here, just to show you the benefit of having one of these longer cable controllers, my GameCube is over there, and I have plugged in an original controller, just the blue with the clear on the bottom. And this one goes all the way to here, let's say. So let's just stretch it out on the table. That is it, fully extended. Now, the white ones with the longer cable are awesome because they extend that length considerably. So where the blue one, the indigo one, only goes to there in the clear, this one goes back all the way to here. So I have a couch that's way over here across from where my GameCube is kept. Now I can actually play and I can sit down on this couch and the controller reaches all the way. Now you might say, great, great lithium, that's just a fantastic idea, but there's also the wave bird. Let me just pick up a wave bird and show you what that one kind of looks like. I have a few wave birds here, including this Club Nintendo one, but I'll pick up the standard platinum one. And the wave bird, yeah, it's wireless. I can sit wherever I want. I can do whatever I want with it. But because of battery life, you lose the lasting effect of rumble. Not the lasting effect, sorry. You just lose the rumble. There's no rumble effect in wave birds. So if you want to play GameCube with a rumble effect, this is probably the best way to go. Try and pick up these white controllers that are official, and if you actually want to get one, they're pretty expensive. I bought the set of four of them because I thought it was a good deal, and I thought actually using them when I play with my friends and play Super Smash Bros. would be a great idea. But then I realized they're white, we're messy, we're in university, we're probably just going to damage them and ruin them. So for now I do have this set of four, but I'm probably looking to sell them eventually on my eBay channel. We'll see when that happens. The price for these is all over the place, but right now normally they're 40 or 50 bucks just for one of them in box. I was fortunate enough to pick up this set for I think just over $100 because I was buying all four from them. A few of them were actually brand new and a few of them were already opened. But that is the history and kind of the story behind the white GameCube controller. It is official. Definitely look for the official version and not get a fake version because the fake versions aren't as good quality. The core, Obviously the cord cable is white and what connects into the console all the way over there is also a white cord on the end. Kind of neat. You don't need to use it only for Smash Bros. You use them for whatever game you want. Thank you for watching guys and have a great day.